So fire in love
Hello everyone and welcome to the Random Championship Series Open Division ARAM Tournament for today, Friday, October 16th. My name is Streepol, casting alongside Slightly. How are you doing tonight, Slightly? It is warm in here. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm doing excellent, thank you. It is not as warm as it is where you are in lovely California. I am in cold Canada, so it is, it's decent weather, it's not too bad. But we have a lovely frozen event here as we are, of course, on the Howling Abyss map. Lovely winter theme, and everybody's got their snowball summoner spells as well. For the first matchup of the day, we are going to have RCS Blue against RCS Green. So, thankfully, RCS Blue is, of course, on the blue side, so that lines up nicely. But we're going to have RCS Green on the purple or red side right there. So we have actually a fair amount of AP on RCS Blue, and actually a fair amount of AP on RCS Green as well. Hmm. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> okay... I've been, Slightly. I've been out of this for a while. Yeah, it's all good. Get get yourself Everybody comfortable there nice in front of the couch. No need to sit on the couch. <laughs> sit in front like the cool kids I don't, do. I don't sit on the couch. It's all good. We I are we are it. jumping in here. We've got of course some really good uh, really good AOE wombo combo coming out from the purple side here. RCS green, I believe it is RCS green. I'm gonna keep checking here on the side because these names yeah, blue, are confusing. The other one's blue and this one's green. Blue is blue and purple blue or blue. red is green. Yeah. So I apologize to anybody who is colorblind, even though, of course, we're not actually having to look at the colors that much. But like I said, so much wombo combo coming out from the purple side. They've got Annie, they've got Wukong, they've got Amumu, and of course, Xerath on top of that. It was a ton of AoE spells, and as I always say on the ARAM map, a very skill shot based champion really excels because it's really hard to miss skill shots when the map is so small. Yeah, I really like their team, actually, for the wombo, as you mentioned, all those... AOE spells and the thresh hook. Whew. Love a good Absolutely. thresh hook. Absolutely. <laughs> exactly like we're saying, more skill shots that are very, very easy to hit. And if you do get hooked on an ARAM, because there's five people in one lane, you can really just jump and blow that person up pretty easily. Uh, and of course, there is so much follow up as well. If someone lands a hook, if someone lands an Annie stun and a Mumu bandage toss, a Zareth stun, anything they have can really just kind of train the CC on top of one another and be really rough. But the same can also be said for the side of RCS Blue here. They've got the Morgana snare, the charm coming out from Ari. Of course, there is, of course, the knockback stun from Syndra as well, which is AoE, so that could be really devastating as well if they can get a knockback on the entire team there. And of course, Pantheon has stuns on top of that as well. Uh, so it's going to be really interesting to see which team can really kind of get a pick and really kind of CC train someone into death, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> they got some good disengage. If <laughs> they were to get Thresh hooked, you can hope that a Syndra E will stop it. <laughs> Very true. Yeah. You're absolutely right. They could actually counterattack on that initial catch if somebody does get thresh hooked and then say Amumu jumps in, Wukong jumps in, everybody jumps in on top of that. They can just jump back. Like you said, they've got an AoE stun with Syndra or, and pushback as well. Uh, the stun from Pantheon is pretty devastating. His E, I believe it is, the little spread out spears there are pretty strong when you have a grouped up number of people right there. The Qs from Ari are going to be going through absolutely everybody and Morgana's ultimate once she does hit level 6 is going to be really hard to dodge if she does actually get right up into the mix and she's got a snowball as well in her summoner spell which allows that gap close which Morgana really doesn't have which is one of the ways you can kind of eliminate the usefulness of her ultimate hmm. I think I kind of like to see Cass with the snowball too rather than Ignite especially uh, against that team 
Ignite, Ignite is definitely not the best spell on uh, ARAM because Ignite is much more of kind of like I want to kill you solo in lane phase kind of thing, or it's useful, uh, useful, excuse me, against champions that have some sort of heal or something like that. But because they're not really facing anybody with a heal, nobody on the purple side, nobody on RCS green really has anything that can kind of regen their HP other than the standard HP regen. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of that. Because Cassidy does have his ultimate, though, because he does have a constant jump, a constant gap close, it's not the biggest deal for him not to have the snowball, but I probably would have liked him to see, to see him take something like maybe a barrier or a heal, possibly. Because what that does is it allows him to jump into the mix. It allows him to jump into danger dangerous territory into the kind of the cluster of the team fight and still have some sort of protection in order to escape or at least absorb the damage so he can kind of trade his damage and not die after the initial engage. Man, my webcam froze on me there! <laughs> and we're back in action. It, it was not a good freeze. <laughs> <laughs> def, 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 not intentional. Uh, trying, to, trying to keep it uh, PG here, whatever the hell our rating system Sorry. is. <laughs> No one's really slightly. upset about it other than me. We're gonna, but... we're gonna get removed off. We're gonna remove off Twitch, but no, we'll be fine. <laughs> we're gonna get banned. We'll, we'll kicked be off the RCS. Yes, speaking of the RCS, while we're in the loading screen, I want to remind you all that you can go to the randomcs.com. Randomcs.com is our website. We host weekly tournaments in League of Legends ARAM tournaments. We also have our Poor Olympics with our resident streamer, Joanne of Arc. She is a partnered Twitch streamer, and she has the Poor Olympics. The next one is October 24th, so please sign up for that. It's just a regular Summoner's Rift started tournament, but it's really fun. It's like this, except it's, of course, not ARAM. It is Summoner's Rift, so if you want to get onto the regular map, Check over our website, go to randomcs.com, go to the register tab, and then click on League of Legends, and you'll see all the information for signing up for those tournaments. And like I mentioned, we do have every Friday our ARAM tournaments. So if you're into ARAM like we're seeing tonight, then please sign up. We can have free agents, you can have regular teams that sign up, groups of five, or even more people if you want subs and things like that. It's lots of fun, lots of cool prizes, and they're all free to enter. So please check out our website, randomcs.com, as we get into the game right here. First game of the night, it is RCS Blue on the blue side versus RCS Green on the red side. Mm, I can't wait to see these Lombos. I'm so excited. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually probably going to be a reasonably eventful early game, I expect, like we keep talking about, because there's so much pick potential, so much CC coming out from either side. I'm really excited to see who kind of gets those initial picks off. Looks like Xerath going for that Catalyst the Protector, which I really like to see. I really like that Rod of Ages, as we of course see from our resident favorites in these tournaments. The team All Mid, All Modes has shown us a lot about kind of what the meta is for ARAM, to be honest. I really thought that there wasn't much of a meta and ARAM's kind of just do whatever you want to do and pretty much anything works, but there are a lot of really strong strategies and one of those is getting those Rod of Ages on your casters. Here comes Cassidy, and though he's walking oh, into the no. brush. And oh no, he's gonna get jumped on immediately. That is going to be the first kill of the game. Just like oh. we said, if somebody gets picked off, it is devastating. The CC train is, it's devastating. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> Well, that's what happens in ARAMs, you know, those bushes. There's no yeah. wards on this map, so... Unless that's you're, that. like, maybe Zyra or Shaco or something, you can't really see in those bushes. And that's a great <laughs> point, because there are no wards, even... Well, wow, Wukong jumping in and <laughs> flashing out there. Um, I don't know if that was just a, kind of a bit of swag or whether it was a misclick, and then he was like, hey, I need to get out of here real quick before I die. But regardless, Wukong has no flash, no ignite, and almost gets hit by a snare right there. Wukong kind of playing with fire. Oh, yeah, he's got to be careful now he doesn't have flash. See the snowball? Counter engage from no, a right there. And they are not going to be able to make anything happen from that. Right now, they're just going for some more poke currently. Sindri getting a little bit out of position, but they're doing a good job, the red side that is, of using the bush a little bit to their advantage and taking a bit more map control. But to be honest, map control is not that important, especially early like this. It's actually sometimes more beneficial to allow yourself to get pushed in so you have more of the lane to create picks and more room to actually get some kills. Mm, their wave clear on blue side isn't that great. I wouldn't really like for them to be stuck at their tower. <laughs> No, you're absolutely right though. It is a little bit dangerous. Speaking of dangerous, Pantheon going in, gonna die. Thrush actually plays the wrong way, but it does not matter. There's more than enough CC and damage to pick up that kill. 2-0 so far for RCS. Green, Monkey, Monkey, excuse me, I was gonna say Wukong and Monkey mixed together. So it came out wonky or something like that. He almost goes monkey. down, but he's able to survive. Yeah, <laughs> oh, little Monkey over there. He's okay. 
he'll survive for the time being. But yeah, Wukong will have a lot more kill potential once he does. Oh my goodness, speaking of kill potential, Ari getting black shielded, but she is able to survive that. Good job, Morgana. HT Louie saving her teammate right there. Ari needs to be closer and just throwing out those charms. They're not hitting anything yet. Yeah, and the interesting thing is Ari actually opted to just go for Sork Boots and Pots. So Ari does not have very much mana. Ari's spells cost a lot of mana. I really would have liked to see her start with either Catalyst the Protector, maybe a Tear, uh, maybe the Chalice of Harmony, something that's going to give her more mana back. Because as you can see right now, she is completely out of mana and really only has about one spell or so for the fights, which is not very useful. I wonder why they went Boots first. You know... It it definitely does damage. That's it, You're fast and you do damage, but I mean... Oh, well, I mean, I guess you might need to be fast if you want to yeah. avoid Thresh hooks. <laughs> very, very true, but the or thing is... You can't, yeah, if you can't cast spells, you're really not that useful. And the thing about Ari is once she gets level 6, her mobility kind of goes through the roof. So she is definitely one of those champions where you can kind of delay getting more mobility until a little bit later, because you have the ability of your R there to kind of supplement your lack of movement speed. But like you said, it is good for dodging skill, so excuse me, skill shots and things like that. I just really would have liked to see her take some form of mana regen, as we see right now, she is hurting for mana. <sighs> yeah, so serious, actually. Serious. He doesn't have regen either, but he does have a catalyst. So. The, yeah, absolutely. The catalyst will luckily, of course, because every time you level up, uh, it does regen some mana and some HP. And there's a nice hook onto Syndra. Let's see if they can take her down. There's the Ignite coming in, and that is going to be more than enough damage to lock her down and take the kill. 3-0 so far for RCS Green. 